In this video, let us look into solving a system of equations which is reducible to a system of simultaneous linear equations. The system of equations that we are talking about here is these. Let us say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2, right? This one. So we've got 1 by 2x minus 1 by y equals minus 1 and 1 by x plus 1 by 2y equals 8. So these are the two equations. Well, these definitely are simultaneous linear equations, but in the form of fractions. But we need to reduce this to, you know, simpler form. We need to reduce this to the simultaneous linear equation. So what we are going to do here is we are going to take 1 by x as u and 1 by y as v. So the first equation becomes u by 2 minus 1 by y is v because 1 by 2 is u, right? So you replace 1 by 2 by u divided by, sorry, uh, the 1 by x is u. So therefore, 1 by x is u divided by 2. 2 is in the denominator. So it becomes u by 2 minus 1 by y is itself v. So minus v equals minus 1. Right? So <clears throat> now this you need to simplify it further. So on simplification, you know, you need to take LCM. So it becomes u minus now this is by one right so taking lcm it should be two so this is multiplied by two and this is multiplied by two so you get u minus two v divided by the whole divided by two equals minus one now u minus two v equals two push two to, uh, to the right hand side so it becomes two into minus one it is minus two so the equation one has become this now u minus two v equals minus two let us call this equation three so now let us change this. Let's change the equation 2. That is 1 by x plus 1 by 2y equals 8. So 1 by x is uh, u. So u plus 1 by 2y. 1 by y is v. So v by 2 equals 8. Again, the same thing, taking LCM and all. So we get 2u plus v by 2 equals 8. Or 2u plus v equals send to the to the right hand side becomes 2 times 8 which is 16 so 2u plus v equals 16 this becomes equation 4 so now you, what we are doing is we are first reducing these two to the equations that we can solve easily so these are the two equations now so these are the two equations to be solved u minus 2v equals minus 2 and 2u plus v equals 16, the equations 3 and 4. So now, let us uh, solve this by using the method of elimination uh, by equating the coefficient. So let me try and eliminate v here. So the coefficient of v here is 1, so I multiply this by 1. The coefficient of v on top is minus 2, so I multiply this by minus 2. So 1 times minus 2 is minus 2, 1 times minus 2v is minus 2v and 1 times u is just u. And minus 2 times 16 is minus 32 and minus 2 times v is minus 2v and minus 2 times 2u is minus 4u. So now uh, we can cancel. We need to subtract minus. We've equated the coefficient of v so we can subtract it. So change the signs. So this gets cancelled. So 4u plus u is 5u and 32 minus 2 is 30. So 5u equals 30. So u equals 30 by 5. 5 goes 6 times in 30. So therefore, we found the value of u as 6. Now let us substitute the value of u in one of these equations and find the value of v. Now let us substitute the value of u in equation 3. It becomes 6 minus 2v equals minus 2 or minus 2v equals minus 2 minus 6 minus 2v equals minus 8. Minus minus gets cancelled. v equals 8 by 2, which is equal to 4. So therefore, we get v as 4. So we found the values of u and v to be 6 and 4 respectively, but it does not end here. We have to solve these equations. The variables present in these equations are x and y. So we need to find the values of x and y. So we've taken 1 by x is equal to u, right? So, 
if 1 by x equals 0, then 1 by x equals 6 or x equals 1 by 6. So the value of x is 1 by 6. The value of v, 1 by y equals v. So therefore, 1 by y equals v, 1 by y equals 4. So y equals 1 by 4. So the values, so we've now solved this, these equations and the values of x equals 1 by 6 and the values, uh, the value y equals 1 by 4. So that's the way we solve this e uh, system of equations. So let me quickly brief it to you once more. How do we solve these equations? You, 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 you first have to reduce it to a system of simultaneous linear equations like equation 3 and 4, then solve it in any way that you are comfortable. You can solve it either by the method of substitution or by the method of elimination by equating the coefficients. Then find the values and then equate it to the values that you initially took. Then find the values of x and y. So this ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on solving a system of equations which is reducible to a system of simultaneous linear equations.